Yep. Sometimes it's easier than you think. When I tested this tool post, it was only able to rotate and fix 90 degrees, but with the compound slide at an angle, that was quite annoying because I couldn't change the tools again to back to 90 degrees. So um, I took it apart and now I realized that it should be able to fix at different positions. It will lock on these um, gears or teeth and there is a, a pin for 90 degrees but this one is spring loaded so it should also be able to fix on different positions on this ring if I can get it out there is a spring underneath so yeah maybe it was just dirty or maybe I didn't try hard enough but um, yeah lucky that it is the way it is Alright guys, I got everything clean, it's moving quite good again, not too much play, but I ran into a problem with the uh, lead screw, because the nut itself is damaged and you can see it's on an angle and there's a crack in here. I'm not sure if I did it because I must admit I did remove it the wrong way. Um, I thought it would slide out and I didn't realize that this part was there that I need to press it out. So maybe it's my own fault but uh, anyhow I need to fix it and I thought okay let's make a new nut because there's also quite some play on the lead screw itself as you can see and that is even here on the end of the thread where the thread is at its best 
but then I planned to make a new nut and I started measuring the uh, thread and I noticed that also this thread is worn down quite a bit here you can see it's quite okay but if you move over here you can see the thread is much thinner and move over a little bit more and then it's a little bit better again all in all with the nut the thread I was also not happy with the handle I decided um, I will do a quick fix and then go for a solid tool post. So I will just uh, try to repair this nut again and silver solder and then put it back together. Just a small heat to soften up the metal. Somebody already marked the chuck side. Oops, <laughs> it wasn't me. For those who need to remove this, it's exactly the same size as for the angle grinder. You don't need it when installing, but you do need it to remove it because the system will lock itself. And the only way to take the top off is by removing this nut in the bottom.
works fine. So guys, the compound and the tool post is back together, first chips are being made again so the machine is functional again and I'm happy with that. The compound as I said in the video it's not in the best condition but uh, this is functional again and I will make a solid tool post uh, but I will have it replaceable and use the same mountings as the compound and then easily swap it out if I need to turn taper I can always put the compound slide back on. 
but with a solid tool post it's also much easier uh, for the DRO that I'm planning to mount so that is another reason why I will go for the solid tool post. The tool holder itself it, um, it, it works fine again and yes it is possible to fix it in different angle positions um, I didn't realize that but yeah that works fine uh, but one thing I still don't like is I need to put the uh, tools at center height with shims and yeah that's a no-go for me if I want to uh, use uh, a lot of different tools for it. So I will go for uh, uh, another system and I already have one, it's the nice Parrot um, system, a quick change tool post system that I will mount on the solid tool post and then I think this will be one beast of a machine that can uh, yeah, really uh, take off some material. So I'm looking forward for that. Um, that was it for this video and I will make uh, another video with the DRO, the solid tool post mount, uh, oil chains and some other work. So um, yeah, let's uh, continue this adventure and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.